Last chance to buy XRP below 25 cents. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, guys, I'll be doing my weekly video on XRP. So, the last video I talked about my next target being 32, and it's worked out really well. So, I'll talk about what's happened with XRP. I'll also look at some news with what's going on with XRP and how some of the news that's going on can affect the price of XRP. And then at the end of the video, guys, I'll share with you exactly how I'm looking to trade xrp so i'll share with you my trading strategies for xrp and how you can make money from this xrp moves so let's get into the video now guys so what has xrp been doing xrp broke below this huge red resistance as you guys remember and i got quite bearish on xrp i think i got really bearish in this zone and it dropped uh, let's have a look how much it dropped it dropped about 32 percent then when it broke below uh, it was really bearish it dropped another 25 percent I, I made two videos i sold all my xrp here then i made another video about selling xrp when it couldn't get above the red zone then guys xrp had few breakouts and i made a couple of videos on here uh, I think I made three videos three were winners this was a winner this was a winner and I took another trade I got a bit excited that is getting above that red zone I wanted to buy and that was a little loss and a couple of couple of days ago well last week when we were holding this as support I think that's when I made this video you can go check out this video so this is not an after the fact I'm not talking about you know XRP going to a ten dollar five eight nine dollars and making crazy predictions I'm talking about from a trading point of view and uh, you can check these videos out again you don't have to believe what I say watch these videos and make up your mind and then if you see my calls are working you understand my thought process behind it then you could start using the strategies that are used as well uh, you shouldn't just believe someone <laughs> random online watch their videos i like to think i share information that's quite different so i'd highly appreciate if you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to get up to date and i do live streams as well i shared my xrp strategy in in the live stream that i did every sunday i do a live stream so make sure you join that if you turn on the notification button you'll get notified when i am going live so guys what has xrp done so xrp had a big move up and i got really excited and i was looking to buy xrp i was already in a bit of a position for xrp when it hit 19 cents if you guys remember uh, my targets were sort of 19 cents and if that doesn't hold it would come to sort of the 15 and 14 cents level it was great to see xrp having a breakout and i did own some and then when it did break out guys i didn't want to lose money like last time you know it broke out then it dropped back so i was looking to buy a pullback so my trade strategy uh, let me share with you so what, my, what was my trade strategy so i shared some signals like yesterday and i said two of the coins that i'm looking to buy are xrp and matic and luckily both went up massively and you can check the live stream on exactly how i was why i was looking to trade them so i was looking to buy xrp just below 25 cents that's what the, that's the title of the video in this yellow zone unfortunately i wasn't at my desk when it i think it didn't hit 25 cents it, it was just above and um I, I mean it hit my the zone that i was looking to buy so my target i think my order was 24.50 unfortunately i didn't get filled it happens loads of times and it's really unfortunate it, it made that big move up and i wasn't at my desk if i was at my desk i would have you know looked up bought a breakout above this um let me go on to the other chart because i was trading on binance not bit for next let me find the exact chart And um, it's not this one. Apologies, guys. Let me find the correct chart so I can do my analysis. So, yes, I was looking to buy. So, if I was at my desk, I would have bought one of these breakouts. There was a pullback before it broke out. There was a nice five minute pullback here. There's lots of opportunities to get in when you see so much volume increase. This was a really good entry. I would have bought in here and I would have got about five percent there's a couple of guys who was at their desk and used this strategy to make money it's really good to see but i wasn't at my desk like i said and um i mean tesla's going crazy we, we always spend time at cryptocurrency but tesla is going crazy it's it's crazier than any cryptocurrency if you look it's literally just been flying so i've been quite busy with stocks as well i don't usually trade stocks i trade mainly forex and crypto but when you see something like this you have to you have to take advantage 
so I'm, I scalped it yesterday and I've had a scalp today as well pull back to my 20 moving average I've got videos on it you can check it out and if you want the full strategy plus live updates you can check this group out this is the last month of this group and people that are joining this group this month will get added to my future group my own website for free so it's a great opportunity for you guys to check this out I'll leave the links below so that's my thoughts on XRP guys it is still looking good um, if you've not bought it I'll try <laughs> um, my strategy here so let me go back to that I'm actually in the, in this trade at the moment let me go to Binance because I trade XRP on Binance it's a nice pullback to 382 guys so I have bought some I think probably quite point to sell now you can see this is um, coming back so what's uh, going on here so it's up about 2% so the way I look to traders guys I will look to buy a pullback where's my I would love to buy a pullback to 50 to 60 percent Fibonacci zone that's where I usually look to buy and they work really well guys that's this will be the zone I'd look to buy if it pulls back here if it doesn't and it carries on higher let me share with you what my straight strategy was I know we just missed um, the XRP trade but my trade strategy was to pull back that 50 to 60 percent i might message the exchange why i didn't get filled but you can see it really pulled back so that is what exactly what i look to do pull back to my red moving average see if it carries on if it tries to run without me i would look to buy because my target is still uh, about the th uh, let me go back to the other chart it is kind of confusing when you're trading on different exchanges so my target is still the the 30 to th 32 cents level i think xrp as long as it stays above this red zone and um, you could even you know look to buy a pullback here have your stop loss below see if you carry on and it moves up to the 30 to 32 cents level so that will sort of be my trade strategy and this is not just on xrp it works really well on other markets so i shared a signal on the last week uh, on the live stream and that had about three percent move up you could have easily made some money on that trade uh, matic is another signal so i said two coins that i'm looking for breakouts matic is looking like ada beforehand and my strategy here was uh, buy a breakout for matic uh, breakout above 220 so that's exactly what i did a uh, breakout above 220 and it moved about 10% and um, I would look to buy some more and um, I've just shared another strategy to buy Matic as well because Matic can we know <laughs> Matic is another coin that can rally quite hard when people start FOMOing in so that is my thoughts on XRP I'll give my long-term prediction at the end of the video and um, but let me look at some news for X, uh, XRP and why I think XRP can be pushing up there's one negative news so on this channel guys I share all the positives and the negatives the chart is looking really bullish one of the negative i'll let you make your mind whether it's negative or positive but i'm just sharing this news 900 million xrp ex exit ripple escrow wallet as crypto startup prepares for february so this can be taken as um, ripple will be selling these when xrp price is going up so the price could be going up and hit that those levels that i'm talking about on xrp it could be ripple could be selling xrp which would be bad but ripple are saying that they don't plan to sell everything and only plan to sell a fraction of it i'll let you make up your mind what you think of that some other news is, uh, well, i don't know if it's going to be positive or negative is xrp being uh, getting bitmex jb on perpetual swaps so i trade a lot on a uh, I do my Bitcoin scalping on BitMEX, so it's going to be really interesting to see Ripple XRP on there. So there's a funny tweet: Is it called Ripple XRP or Dog? Who knows? Who cares? It's worth more than zero, so it's time to trade the USD pair on BitMEX. So Arthur, who's the CEO of BitMEX, made that tweet, and this will be interesting. There's going to be more volatility, so few people are saying you know the price will be pumped and people will be shorting XRP at these levels. So we'll have to see. For me, I think as long as we stay above the red zone is above the 50 percent fibonacci it's above the daily 200 moving average which is a huge technical signal for me you know last time we uh, closed above it you know we had a big move up um, and we've struggled to close above it recently you know we closed here then we had another move up and we've always struggled to close above it as you can see from the chart so it is a very important technical signal that you need to keep your mind out for so if we can close above it and stay above it i'm expecting a big move up i'll talk about my sort of targets at the end of the video 
and whether I think whether we'll get an opportunity so I'll answer the question of the title of the video is it the last chance to buy XRP below 25 cents so yeah this is a really big news for uh, for myself as well I'll be able to scalp a lot more XRP I really like trading on BitMEX so this will be good news for us Another news is announces new plan to drive XRP ecosystem support development and adoption. This is the news that we like. So product manager Warren Paul says XSpring is rolling out a new development relation initiative to engage engineers who are building on XRP Ledger across the globe. It's designed to give people a central hub to share content, describe events and gain support. Today we are focused on producing the content that makes it easier for developers to access blockchain technology and digital assets through technical documents documentation, sample codes, tutorial, video uh, demos and also written reports on our blog and new forum. So you can see Ripple, what Ripple is trying to do. Uh, Ripple is working to curate content to facilitate developer access to blockchain technology and digital assets. Ripple's investment arm launched a software development kit SDK to help developers integrate XRP based payment into their products. Again, that is a good news because we want to see XRP adoption. Apart from that, I haven't seen much news. Um, everyone just talking about scalping. That's usually what you see rather than actual real content. I try to a uh, Ripple uh, link and a couple of other coins when I get requested. So Litecoin, I do do fundamental analysis. My channel is mainly tech analysis and I share with you trade setups again on YouTube I share with you how I'm, what I'm looking to trade what I'm tra trading and I share the exact entries and exits with price of stops uh, in this group so uh, I'll, if you want me to do more fundamental analysis I'll do them and if, if this video is really good I talk in detail about fundamentals of Bitcoin and how I look to invest I'm predominantly a trader I hodl Bitcoin but I don't really buy and just hodl uh, altcoins usually so you can check out that video how what my thoughts are on some interesting projects and fundamental analysis if you want more of those kind of videos let me know and I'll do those videos and you can ask me questions on the live stream as well that's my news sort of covered some of the other things that I uh, I joke about Twitter is quite fun so I, I share my important content on YouTube and Facebook so co follow those I've got a free Facebook group all the links are below but I do like to just tweet some fun stuff uh, to provide value as well so you know it's not an altcoin season until XRP moons I shared that signal as well uh, of uh, retweeted what Arthur is saying and a couple of other things you know XRP is looking quite good and i just like to joke about xrp because people are joking and uh, uh, twitter is quite fun um, I, I was just kind of tongue-in-cheek and you can just tweet about funny things and there's loads of people tweeting about funny things as well so it's more fun rather than content but i do share some really good signals and content here as well like the matic trader posted and i'll be more active on facebook and twitter and youtube so if you have any questions let me know so let's answer the final point of the video. So I talked about is this the last opportunity to buy XRP below 25 cents. So trading is all about probabilities, right? If if we see that my video, my point was if we get a close above the red zone, which we got, we had a push above. So if you ask me where XRP goes next, I think the higher probability, the path of least resistance is towards the 30 cent to 32 cent level. That would be my prediction. And, and you could look to buy it. That's why I said you could see the exact pullback here. There is an opportunity here, you know, the indicator was sold off it was started to point up you could have got a two a uh, percent trade on there nice scalping trade and there's going to be more opportunities uh, like i've said to be taking those trades so you could be looking at those but from a longer term point of view i think if you ask me where it goes next it will go to the 30 cent to 32 cent level next and then what happens will determine what happens with xrp if xrp can get a close above this level and it does a weekly trend change so you can see the weekly is moving up so what i'd like is maybe a higher low here and once it you know trends here like we've seen and then breaks above we've not really seen that with xrp we've had pumps sell off pumps sell off since the big move up we've not really seen a sustained move up that is exactly what i'd like to see simple trend analysis higher high higher low and higher high in this trading course that you get uh, for another month 
I've got an hour long video on trend, which is the most important thing in trading. If you could learn one thing in, in a brief way, it's a higher high, higher low and a higher high. So this is higher high, higher low and a break above. And we want to see that on a higher time frame, so weekly, daily time frames. And that will be really interesting. XRP is one of the coins that are so low on the price. It's literally below when we had that big move up. So this is the time for longer term. If you believe in this project, this is where you buy. You don't buy when it's something's up. 10,000% uh, you buy them when they drop below that is the best way to trade and if you keep doing that you will be making money XLM is a th another signal that I provided that worked really well this was a live signal that I provided if you guys remember watch the live stream and this is at a big move up and it came bounce exactly of that sort of level that I talk about I got a bit distracted apologies because I'm in a couple of trades so yeah that is sort of my thoughts on xrp guys Um, if we get below this red zone get a close above it like we've done here then we could drop more and um, if we do a trend change below the red zone that will be a red flag Um, then i'd probably come out of my xrp trades as well because i do own a still a bit from when i bought around this breakout because this was a really nice bottoming pattern so that's my thoughts on xrp let me do a bitcoin prediction as well so xrp btc is looking great as well um one of the videos i made previously is i really use xrp btc pair uh, when i'm trading and as long as xrp btc is staying above this red zone and it's trying to bre break above that daily 200 moving average i think it might consolidate here for a bit this is huge resistance let me change that to red i think if it can get above that guys and find a uh, do a trend change above there xrp can really really fly so if these sort of things happen then yes i think uh, you probably won't be able to buy xrp below 25 cents for a long time if it potentially could be the bottom or if it fails there guys then yes we could have a bigger pullback and anything can happen in the market um, this is this high probability strategy now which i'm looking at if it works out great my job is to make money quickly and come out which is exactly what i'm showing here and on the youtube video channels and if it doesn't work out i'll look for another setup there's always opportunities in the market like we saw the ada breakout above this red zone and a huge move up and like we're seeing potentially with matic now there's always opportunities you just need to be in and out quickly for a trader and if you are an investor <laughs> you need to trust ripple brad garlinghouse their company and you know the the D they, if it's a decentralized company like they say other developers working and improving the project so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, i'll be making at least an xrp video a week that's what i try and do or at least every other week especially if some things things are going on with xrp like it has been not made one in a while so thought i'll make a video if you guys are interested guys let me know and i'll make more xrp fundamental analysis video i can share about my thoughts on xrp I, I was thinking about making a video kind of um talking about the the, um, the myths the the wrong kind of perceptions of xrp so like i don't know how i'll title the video like maybe demystifying xrp or something like that i'm not sure where you know people say wrong things about xrp i might make a video explaining why people do that so i might make a pop that will probably be an hour long video but i might try and make that for for next week anyways guys to end the video my question to you guys is what is your thoughts on xrp do you think xrp can have a break towards the 30 cent level do you think it will stay above the red zone comment below your price predictions for xrp and let's have a discussion i'd love for you to m post important comments um just comment below xrp your predictions whatever crazy predictions you have let's have some fun around it as well because trading is meant to be fun it shouldn't be difficult it's, it's very lonely trading so i love having this interaction with you guys online so i'd love for your comments below and and let me know if i could make any other sort of videos to help you guys out so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel comment below your thoughts on xrp and let's have a good discussion thank you very much and i'll see you guys soon